Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got this card about feeling restless over here. You've got Mercury sitting in Aries over here. So you're thinking about doing something different. It might be a new business venture. You've got a Caduceus over there. It might even be travel. Uh, that you um, want to undertake right now. You've got Hermes over here. So this is about communication, travel. Uh, you know, it's a Mercury uh, card. So it's about um, multitasking as well. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over here. So you've got Sun sitting in Leo. So things are looking up for you. It looks like, uh, you know, you're getting some fame, some acclaim. Some people are rewarding you for your efforts as well. There's also that world over there. So there might be some kind of... Um, money coming in from an international front or maybe an international job uh, or you might be thinking about undertaking some kind of travel. You've got the ostentation card over here which has got uh, you know restriction of finances over here so you've got a little bit of uh, financial restriction going on over there a little bit of worries of money. Saturn tends to be a restrictor of money as, um, and Taurus is about your personal finances so you could be having some uh, you know problems where you're not you need to you know you're limiting how much you're spending. Now, in the past, you've got the Rebellion card over here, so it looks like you've had a new uh, decision, uh, you made a new decision, uh, it looks like you're standing up for yourself, standing your ground and rebelling against people, really, uh, so, uh, you know, not uh, doing everything that they expect you to do. You've got a, a fort over here, so that might be about, um, you know, being defensive as well. It looks like uh, you've got the last card over here, so there might be a new interest coming in uh, for you, Venus in Aries here, uh, something that is rocking your boat a little bit over here. You could have also dealt with a very difficult uh, relationship situation over here. You've got that volcano erupting, and it has involved a relationship. Um, so a new relationship coming in with that last card, or you know you are um, really interested in somebody at the moment, uh, very very attracted to them. The, um, going to the future, you've got each eccentricity card over here. So doing things that are different. So with that rebellion card and that eccentricity card, it looks like you're on the work front, you're starting to, uh, you know, have brand new ideas and doing things that are, you know, out of the box, really. You've got the fish flying there rather than swimming. So, you know, you're taking uh, a different uh, approach to the way you do things right now. It's very uh, unusual as well. Um, you've got the detachment card over here, so uh, you know, really, um, for really concentrating a lot on ideas, uh, using a lot of your mind. Um, you've got Venus sitting there in um, Aquarius. Maybe you do feel a bit detached from people as well, maybe a bit isolated as well from people. Uh, maybe the way they think is not the way you think, and uh, this is causing you to be maybe spending a lot more time by yourself. You, you seem to be a little bit emotional because they're in the middle of the water over here. So uh, maybe you're having, you know, all these new ideas and people are not supporting you and you really can't understand why. So feeling a bit discontent really during that week. So those are the energies for that week. <coughs> now you've got the, I'm going to just use the TV series tarot for the main read. seven of cups over here so you have got a lot of ideas in your head there's some decision that you have to make you have to choose something and it looks like you're reaching some kind of turning point in your life you're looking at your life you can see this man's looking at all these cups and doing some kind of life review or some kind of life assessment about what you want to do next maybe you're fed up of being where you are at at the moment and you want to make a change and you're considering all these different options you're weighing up all these different options and really looking into it very carefully it seems like you've reached an end of a cycle some kind of closure has come in for you with the world card of year and maybe this is the reason why you're starting to look at different options available to you it seems like in the past you've been carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities uh you've got this man walking with this all these rods but it looks like he's almost at the end of that cycle re leading to stability so maybe you've been working really hard in your work doing a lot of projects and now that particular thing has come to an end or will be coming to an end 
Uh, you can even see there's a successful completion with that world card over here. And you can see there's a sofa there, uh, and he's got this big house here. Uh, so, you know, there's comfort coming in, some luxury coming in, maybe some payoff coming in after working so uh, hard. And maybe because this project is coming to an end, you're now considering other things to do right now. So you've got something coming in, uh, you know, you've been considering uh, doing something different. You can see this man's looking out the window at the world over here. Maybe you want to do some travel. Uh, you've got um, the two of rods over here. So leaving behind something that you've finished and taking something forward. So you've learned a lot on this particular project or this particular job. And it looks like you want to leave things behind and make a, a brand new start. And that might involve some kind of travel as well. So you're making plans, really. And even with that Seven of Cups, it looks like you're making plans. So you've been very focused on that work over there with the Knight of Pentacles, working very, very hard to bring in the money. But you are moving forward. So there is, uh, you know, stability coming in. But there's also, you know, the opportunity for expansion. And there's the opportunity uh, for, you know, uh, going up that career ladder as well. You've got the Knight, um, sorry, the page of... Uh, uh, swords over here. So there's some kind of news that you're waiting for. Maybe some kind of official news. You could be waiting for, um, you know, news to sign a contract or a dealings uh, with a contract. Um, that kind of legal issues really going on there. With the page of pentacles, it's also maybe dealing with people that are very, um, you know, who, who cause trouble. Who, um, you know, um, maybe there's somebody around you that you're not really happy with uh, because they're uh, stirring up some issues of problems. They might be doing something behind your back and maybe they'll be gossiping about you and you don't really like it much at all. So going into the future, you've got the uh, page of pentacles coming in over here. So it looks like there's news about money uh, and there's a, a new job offer coming in for you over here where you're going to be very focused on it. So, uh, you know, you've been looking at all these options and it looks like finally something is going to be coming in. Some kind of new uh, money. It's opened the door. It's allowed you to move forward. Uh, and now you're just really looking at that particular job very carefully and considering it. So it's uh, whatever's going on, uh, the, whatever this new job is or whatever the new offer is, it's about a position of authority. You've got the emperor card over here taking control, being an expert at it, and also being uh, very organized, which is right up your alley because Virgo is a pretty organized sign. Um, and, you know, you're going to be uh, in some kind of leadership position where you give all the orders, really. So uh, all this hard work is paying off. It looks like there's some kind of promotion or some kind of new job offer that comes in. And it looks like you are considering it pretty carefully as well. You're doing a lot of research into it. Now, it's going to change your life quite a bit. Uh, and it's going to take you out of that old situation because you've got the tower card over here. So whatever you've been uh, doing for the past few years, it's going to change very dramatically. New energy coming in, uh, throwing you out of that old situation. But then there's also these all these endings of cycles. So you are moving on to something. And maybe it's something you've never done before. So you um, are something starting something really brand new. Um, you know, and uh, you're going to be... Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of sh energy shift coming in with that. So what you want, you want, uh, you know, a really uh, um, good established career. Uh, you want the money to come in. This is your hopes and fears. And you want, uh, you know, you can see lots of money coming. You want uh, stability. Maybe you want to buy a new house as well. So it looks like, uh, you know, that is coming. You've, you've finished uh, this phase of your life. You're going to be starting a new one and you want a payoff to come up. After all that hard work and slog, you are looking forward. You've been moving towards that goal and you're waiting for that kind of payoff to come out. And, it, you know, it looks like there's a big uh, something big coming in because it's going to be shifting that energy quite a bit. Now going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Knight of, um, um, sorry, the Knight of Swords over here. So this is about legal news coming in. Um, this is also about uh, things coming in pretty quickly. So news coming in very quickly. You might be signing contracts very quickly as well, uh, and um, you know moving forward. So there's this card about movement as well. Um, and you've got that four of cups over here. So it's signing new contracts with a new job coming in. And maybe you didn't consider this particular job before because you've been so focused on what you've been doing. But it looks like this new job offer is coming in and you might be signing some new legal contracts with it. And it's going to put you into a position of authority. You've got that king of rods over there. So taking charge, taking control, being uh, somebody who organizes things. Also being in the limelight, being in the spotlight. Maybe there's a lot of travel also involved 
over here, uh, you know, a very strong businessman uh, managing a lot of projects as well. So you're going to be doing a lot of project management um, as well with this new job. And it's going to be a position of authority. So you'll be handling resources, handling people as well. So this new offer comes in for you. Uh, you've got that um, offer coming in there with the uh, page of pentacles that's news about it and it looks like this offer has been made to you as well it's an ace of cups it's a brand new beginning and it gives you a lot of authority and a lot of power in your hand so i'm going to just draw some cards from the um angel tarot so you've got the nine of fire over here so don't give up protect that which you have created and have courage and believe in yourself. So this is all about confidence issues. And, you know, it looks like uh, don't give up. It's, you know, you're almost there. You're nearly there. You can see that with that 10 of rods. You're nearly there. You've been doing a lot of things, working uh, through a lot of projects. And you've been, uh, you know, being very stressed out as well. And it looks like, uh, you know, with the nine of five, it says just uh, don't give up and uh, protect what you've created and believe in yourself. And the second card is the four of fire, which says contentment, peace and abundance, a happy home life, a successful completion of a project. This is a card of celebration. It's a card of completion. It's a card of victory. Uh, it's not the ending, but it is, uh, you know, en route to even bigger things, better things. But right f for right now, you know, there is something that you're going to be celebrating soon. And it's probably this new job that you're going to be getting. It's going to open a lot of doors for you. And a lot of money coming in as well. So skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So whatever job you're doing, you're going to be learning a lot. You're going to be becoming an expert at it and you're going to have a lot of authority. And money is coming in with that. So there's some learning that is involved with this new job that comes in with you for you with this offer. You can see there's a big stack of books over here. And you're going to be an expert and you're going to be very skilled at this particular job. Um, and it's going to bring in the money as well and the authority. So a very good position to be going for. Uh, it looks like you are very, very focused on work at this particular moment. Um, you know, uh, as far as love life goes, um, it seems to have taken a back seat. Your career seems to be very, very important. And it looks like you're getting that offer that you've been waiting for for so long. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.